So you're from Pakistan. Do you like cricket? Yeah, I do. It's a big game, right? Yeah. 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 It's like Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah. Sachin Tendulkar is from India. Ah, oh, no. Hi, I'm Micah, I'm 31, and I work here at Vice. We've recently heard that as men get older, their friendship groups start to stagnate, and they don't make as many new friends as they did when they were younger. I personally can identify with this. I moved down from Queensland to Melbourne not long ago. I didn't know anyone when I moved down here. A lot of the friends I've made have been through work, friends of friends. So with that in mind, Vice have tasked me with going out in the field and not only learning about making new friends, but potentially making new friends. It feels like it's gonna be very awkward. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go talk to Charlie, who's a men's mental health researcher. Hopefully he'll have some tips and tricks for me to make it a little bit easier. We found that around a quarter of men between the ages of 35 and 55 have no one that they can rely on outside their immediate family. There's blokes who actually are quite good at maintaining a, a surface level, a, a veneer level of, of social connectedness, but aren't very good at deepening those relationships to have honest conversations and, and empathic conversations with their male friends. Is there any marked increase or risks associated with that? The more satisfied you are with your social relationships, the less likely you are to experience depression and anxiety. Now obviously satisfaction with your social relationships is different for every bloke. Yep. You know, for some blokes they can be extremely satisfied with one great mate they can share everything with. Mm -hmm. For other blokes that's nowhere near enough. Is there any specific, I guess, key sort of tenets or ways of going about things that yeah. you, would, you would recommend? You get friends by being a friend, being open to, to what they want to discuss, um, not just constantly talking about yourself. It's also involving them as much as possible in the conversation and, and just being, um, you know, non-judgmental. I can tend to shut down. Yeah, Sometimes it'll be and it's too own, easy to be an asshole. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm so good at it too. Yeah. <laughs> I've had some lunch. I've had a think about uh, Charlie and the conversation that we had this morning. And I've decided that I'm going to throw myself in the deep end in terms of getting out there and meeting people. And the best way to do that, I think, is through sports, which is a universal way that men connect with each other. Which change room is it? Hey. Good, how are you? Oh, hey guys, how are you? Howdy, how are you? Good, how are you? What's your name? Uh, Micah. Micah and, you? Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, how are you? Jake. Jake, nice to meet you, man. Looks like you got a good spot there. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hey. So this afternoon, to that end, I've come down to do a training session with the West Brunswick Magpies. Nice man, how are you? Sorry, I'll get out of your way. Socks down. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, no, we have a flashy boat, mate. <laughs> he's got his up. I haven't really had any experience with football, so I'm both out here to make friends and learn how to kick a ball, which will be great. <laughs> Hey man, Bill. Bill, nice, right. to meet you, man. nice to meet you. Man. Have you uh, played before? Uh, not a lot of um, like oh, AFL or football like yeah. this. From Queensland originally. Yeah, right. So a lot of, right. lot of league when I was a kid, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm right here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what we do have is a. Trophy. It's called the KOTW, otherwise known as a Knob of the Week. Cool. <laughs> Given to someone who's done something reasonably knobbish in the week previous. So, okay. And as far as we get, I don't think I've seen anything more knobbish than turning up to training the Thursday before a grand final. Okay. You? This is going to kill me much quicker than not having friends. This shit, fuck. I'll be dead by the end of the night. <laughs> I mean, you can just pretend that I'm out there still and not standing right here. I'll even do voiceover. Oh, that Micah, that was a good kick. He's really going strong. I've never seen a more natural sportsman. Are you bringing it out from the goal square? Yeah. Kick it to a group that's right there, leading up the wing towards us. They take the mark. We run past and get the hands off them. Okay. It's a bit confusing. I'm out! Oh, Mike is going really well. Yeah, he's uh, learning quickly. A lot of the boys are giving him tips and little pointers about kicking and handballing and just little basics because, you know, he's, he's from Queensland, so... It's a good masculine outlet. It's like, you know, men just being men. 
I've been welcomed with open arms by the team. I've had a good, good run around, done some exercise, you know, kicked a football. Not in a million years would I have done this. You know, a lot of ideas around what it was going to be like and all of them were, were completely wrong. It's been an awesome night and uh, I'm enjoying the odyssey that I'm on now. So, welcome to my apartment, guys. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty tiny, it's just me here and um, my best friend, who was a cat. But after she attacked me while I was sleeping in the middle of the night, I guess Charlie's words have never been more important about getting out there and finding new friends. You know, when your best friend tries to kill you in your sleep, it's time to expand that circle. So I've been given a couple of uh, sites to check out. I'm just going to Craigslist now, and it's like personals. I feel like strictly platonic is probably what I'm looking for. Um, massage after gym, that's, that doesn't feel platonic. Bookish type seeks younger companion. That's a bit strange. Mentor or father figure, question mark. I don't feel like these are necessarily the connections that I'm trying to make. There's also Meetup, which I've been recommended. There's a couple of things I checked out before. I think the one that kind of looked the best for me was the Australian Whiskey Masterclass. Because it's on at 2 p.m. I better get ready. G'day mate, how are you? Micah. Micah Seb, nice pleased to meet you, you mate, yeah. how are you? Yeah, good to meet you. Do you find that uh, I guess a lot of the people that come down here, that, they, that meet here, that they potentially form friendships out of that? Well, we'd hope so, yeah. yeah. I think everyone has a really good time here yeah. for, the, for the couple of hours, and then hopefully that does happen. The best thing about this place is the communication and the, and the people you get to meet and the connections. How are you guys all going? Yeah, good. Thanks. Sierra Fursk. First whiskey tasting class? Yep. Yeah. Mine too. <laughs> you throw yeast in. Um, you can either get wild yeast or some strains of yeast. Most of the guys use strains of yeast that they use. It was to learn about whiskey tasting at the end of the day, which is kind of a fairly solitary pursuit usually. It's not something that you normally do with new people to make friends. It was a bit harder to kind of get the conversation going with people and to kind of break into that. It probably made it a little bit more awkward. Have you got plans for the rest of your night? Not yet. Not yet? To see, what, see where the whiskey takes him? Girls making friends with girls versus guys making friends with guys. How is that different? Yeah, well, I mean, you even saw tonight, like, we kind of, you kind of went over here and we were kind of having a little chat up here at this end for a while. Guys talk about sport, so seriously, and if you're not into sport as a guy, I think that's very hard. So you, you see a group of, group of guys and, and a group of girls, and I reckon girls will very quickly get into lots of different conversations, but guys will kind of the go-to is like, oh, I'll just talk about sport, it's yeah. safe. There has to be a way of getting around the not, yeah. not, not being interested in sports kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, Maybe I'll just start watching sports and be done with it. <laughs> well, what else besides whiskey tasting are you into? I like eating lunch. Yeah, I like, I like eating lunch too. <laughs> we do have a lot in common. <laughs> I like going for runs. Yep. Well, maybe we should uh, go for a run and then get lunch somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Very good to meet you, Sam. Yeah, very nice to meet I'm you. I'm going to go out on a limb and uh, say you're a very interesting guy. And uh, <laughs> I'd like to, you know, maybe hang out again. Sounds great. Yeah. Would you be open to that? Yeah, I'd be open to it. Would you be, what about tonight? I know it's probably a bit short notice. Yeah, I'm probably no good tonight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might be an issue. Do you have to exchange numbers? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that is true, yeah, see, that is true. Look how we're talking before. See the awkwardness of that? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. yeah. <laughs> so I didn't make any friends necessarily at whiskey tasting. I you know, met Sam, who was a great guy, and I might catch up with him later. I didn't feel it was probably the one-off course is the best way to go about things. So tonight, I'm going to take the scientific approach to uh, meeting people, and I'm going on a speed dating night, which is going to be fun. It is designed for people to meet each other, and I think I will meet some guys. The only potential drawback is that these guys are here for a speed dating night and I'm registered as one of the female participants. So I feel like there's going to be some disappointment and a lot of awkwardness. I think this is the right place. My name is Chris and I'll be one of your hosts this evening. I'm also going to introduce you very quickly to Micah, who is speed dating with a little bit of a difference. Because guys, you will be dating predominantly females tonight, but you'll also be having a chat <laughs> with, uh, with Micah at some point during the evening. 
without any further ado, I think we're going to get going. So get your phones out and you'll know who, you, who your first date is with in a couple of minutes. <laughs> How are you going? Crazy as ever. Micah. Brian. Sorry, Brian? Brian. Yeah. How's your day been? I went to work, so... Do you work inside or...? No, I'm on the railway, so outside. Oh, that's good. It's not, I mean, if you ever want to work outside, it was a day like today. Oh, this is too hot. A lot of the girls are older than me, so it's just... Oh, okay. That's not bad. It could be like a boy toy. <laughs> I prefer very young girls. So. Uh, okay. make a lot of your friends through work? Through work and my sports, which are ten-pin bowling and stair climbing. Okay. How old are you? 30. So you mean like any girls like 20, 20 25? 25 to 27 is the perfect range. Okay. I mean, I don't think I've met this many people so intensely, so quickly in my life before. Like, I'm nervous and I'm not even trying to meet girls. <laughs> you think I am nuts? No, I Everybody don't. Does. I don't. I'm thinking maybe just stealing other people's stories and then retelling them to the next person. Uh, you're a danger to have. <laughs> have you got any good stories? <laughs> my lips are sealed. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting that you can see the difference between a really quick, what is it, seven minutes? Yeah. And a, what feels like 10 years? <laughs> I think I've been taking it a bit too slow. Like, yeah. what do you do for work? Like, just sort of stuff. Work's so boring. It is really boring. I've talked to guys before and they're like, please do not ask me about work. Yeah. You could ask them about um, what's their ideal Saturday. Okay. What's a perfect day for you? Go to a zoo, check it out, and probably, hopefully bring a date with me, of course. I like that question. That reveals a lot about them. Because yeah. this conversation is fairly running fairly easily, I would yeah. say, and you know. Okay. Yeah. You've had your three dates, so <laughs> what, what would you give me? <laughs> I don't have a rating system. I found the whole thing quite overwhelming, to be honest. But now I'm starting to feel a lot more relaxed about it. Sorry, everyone. I'm just going to interrupt you very, very briefly. This evening's dating has finished for the night. So thank you very, very much for coming along. We really hope that you've enjoyed yourselves. Uh, just very quickly, a show of hands. Guys, those of you who have had the luxury and the privilege of dating Micah throughout the evening, how many of you would want to be mates with him? Thanks, guys. <laughs> I did get a couple of hands, so, you know, I think it went pretty well. Um, I even got a girl, a girl put her hand up, which I think it was out of pity, but hey, <laughs> I'm going to go with that as a win. It drove home a couple of points, and what Charlie said from the beginning, that is to be out there doing stuff you wouldn't normally do. No matter how much you want to go home and lie on the couch and watch TV, but it's better to get out there. You know, everyone's got a fascinating story. I can tell you from my job that everyone is interesting. <laughs> everyone is interesting if you're interested enough to find out. Yeah, okay. And it will make it easier to draw that out. So kind of make that your, I guess, like an yeah. over, overarching ethos about people. Is yeah. Like, yeah, everyone's got something interesting about them. Yeah. Might not be my thing, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I probably shouldn't have that as a footnote. <laughs> Just have that first it's bit. A yeah. Not it's an ongoing process, but if you keep up that effort and you keep up a little bit of pressure on yourself to to keep this project going, you'll find your whole uh, social situation will change dramatically within a few months. So I've finally kind of finished. This is the end of my one week of trying to find friends. I can tell you after a week of trying to do it, it does get easier. It's not over. Um, I think, you know, I'm gonna get to bed early and I think though tomorrow I'm gonna wake up feeling pretty refreshed and ready to keep going with this mission. So thanks very much for having us. Um, it's been really good to come down. You've all been very welcoming. We're out on a mission tonight to you know, put, put yourself out there and, and find a place to make new friends and to meet new people. And as far as the West Brunswick foot, Football Club goes, it's pretty, pretty fucking excellent. So for the purpose of, uh, my director would like, like me to ask you, would anybody consider me a mate? Which I think is like pretty, uh, can you hear the crickets? <laughs> thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>